Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first we will discuss intercept form of the equation of a plane. Let the plane make A intercept on X axis, B intercept on Y axis and C intercept on the Z axis. Hence we have that the plane meets the X axis at the point P with coordinates A0,0. It meets Y axis at the point Q with coordinates 0, B0. And at Z axis, the plane meets at the point R with coordinates 0, 0, C. So we have equation of a plane. that cuts the coordinate axis at points P, Q and R is given by X upon A plus Y upon B plus Z upon C equal to 1. Let's find the equation of the plane which makes the intercept 1 on x-axis, 2 on y-axis and 3 on z-axis. That is, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 3. So, the equation of the plane is given by x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c equal to 1. Or this could be written as 6x plus 3y plus 2z equal to 6. This is the required equation of the plane. Next we have plane passing through the intersection of two given planes. Suppose the equation of the two planes in vector form be given by vector r dot vector n1 equal to d1 and vector r dot vector n2 equal to d2. So we have vector equation of a plane that passes through The intersection of two planes given by these two equations is vector r dot vector n1 plus lambda into vector n2 is equal to d1 plus lambda into d2 where this lambda is some non-zero constant. If the equation of two planes is given in Cartesian form as a1x plus b1y plus c1z minus d1 equal to zero and a2x plus b2y plus c2z minus d2 is equal to 0, then the Cartesian equation of a plane that passes through the intersection of Two planes given by these two equations is a1x plus b1y plus c1z minus d1 plus lambda into a2x plus b2y plus c2z minus d2 equal to 0. 
सपोज द टू इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन इन वेक्टर फॉर्म भी गिवन बाय वेक्टर आर डॉट आई कैप प्लस थ्री जे कैप माइनस के कैप इक्वल टू फाइव एंड वेक्टर आर डॉट टू आई कैप माइनस जे कैप प्लस के कैप इक्वल टू थ्री वी नीड टू फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन दैट पास थ्रू द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ दीज टू गिवन प्लेन एंड पॉइंट ए विद कॉर्डिनेट टू वन माइनस टू फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन वी हैव वेक्टर एन वन इज इक्वल टू आई कैप प्लस थ्री जे कैप माइनस के कैप एंड डी वन इज इक्वल टू फाइव नाउ फ्रॉम द सेकेंड इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन वी हैव वेक्टर एन टू इज इक्वल टू टू आई कैप माइनस जे कैप प्लस के कैप एंड डी टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री नाउ इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन Through the intersection of these two planes is vector r dot vector n one plus lambda into vector n two equal to d one plus lambda into d two. That is, we get vector r dot one plus Two lambda i cap plus three minus lambda j cap minus one minus lambda k cap equal to five plus three lambda. This is the equation of the plane that passes through the intersection of the two given planes. It is also given that this plane passes through the point A with coordinates two one minus two. So we have vector r equal to 2i cap plus j cap minus 2k cap hence we have from this equation of the plane 2i cap plus j cap minus 2k cap dot 1 plus 2 lambda i cap plus 3 minus lambda j cap minus 1 minus lambda k cap equal to 5 plus Three lambda. So from here we have two into one plus two lambda plus three minus lambda minus two into lambda minus one minus five plus three lambda. From here we get value of lambda as one. When we substitute this lambda equal to one in this equation of the plane, we get vector r dot three i cap plus two j cap equal to eight. So this is the required equation of the plane that passes through the intersection of the two given planes and the point A with coordinates two one minus two. Next, we discuss coplanarity of two lines. If the two lines be given in the vector form as vector r equal to vector a1 plus lambda into vector b1 and vector r equal to vector a2 plus mu into vector b2, this line passes through say a point A with position vector vector a1 and is parallel to vector b1, and this line. passes through say a point b with position vector vector a2 and is parallel to vector b2 then these two lines would be coplanar if we have vector a2 minus vector a1 dot vector b1 cross vector b2 is equal to 0 If the equation of the lines is given in Cartesian form as x minus x1 upon a1 equal to y minus y1 upon b1 equal to z minus z1 upon c1, then x minus x2 upon a2 equal to y minus y2 upon b2 equal to z minus z2 upon c2. Where x1, y1, z1 are the coordinates of the point A through which the line one passes, and a1, b1, c1 are the direction ratios of the vector b1. 
then x2, y2, z2 are the coordinates of the point B through which the line 2 passes and A2, B2, C2 are the direction ratios of the vector B2. Then these two lines would be coplanar if we have determinant x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 is equal to 0. Let the equation of the lines in Cartesian form be given as x upon 1 equal to y minus 2 upon 2 equal to z plus 3 upon 3 and x minus 2 upon 2 equal to y minus 6 upon 3 equal to z minus 3 upon 4. Let's see if these two lines are coplanar or not. From the first equation of the line we have x1 equal to 0, y1 equal to 2 and z1 equal to minus 3. Then a1 equal to 1, b1 equal to 2 and c1 equal to 3. From the second equation of the line we have x2 equal to 2, y2 equal to 6 and z2 equal to 3, a2 equal to 2, b2 equal to 3 and c2 equal to 4. Let's consider the determinant x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2. That is, this is equal to determinant 2, 4, 6, 1, 2, 3, and 2, 3, 4. On solving this determinant, we get this is equal to 0. And so we have the given two lines are coplanar. Thus, this completes the session. Hope you have understood the intersect form of the equation of a plane plane passing through the intersection of the two given planes and coplanarity of two lines.